Hello everybody, my name is Kathy and welcome to Country Girl and today we're going to start planting the seeds and the transplants into the greenhouse. So come with me as we put in the lettuce and the carrots and the beets and who knows what else? We'll find out. Stick around. been thinking about how to plant this for a long time and I've changed my mind a few times and finally come up with a plan and hopefully it's gonna work. I'm gonna put my peppers along that south wall since they like a lot of warm temperature. Then I'm gonna put my tomatoes into the far beds on the south side since they're gonna grow up taller and they will shade my cabbage, not my cabbage, my lettuces, and my onions, carrots, all the things that like to be in the shade. And then on this far wall, I'm going to put the broccoli and the cauliflower and the cabbage and the Brussels spots. That's the plan. First year trying this out, so we'll see how it works. I've already made up my grid as to how I'm going to, what I'm going to plant. And I'm going to use the square foot method. And if you don't know what the square foot method is, it's kind of where you put plants together real close, and as many as you can in a bed. Um, there's a chart that says how much spacing you should put things. And like, I made these little boards, and um, they're kind of a guide. And this one has 16 hoes in it, and it's good for beets, carrots, onions, radishes, chives, rocket um, in your um, some of your herbs the one this one is nine hose and it's good for beans peas parsnips spinach beets uh, turnips and dill and it's really quite simple to use and I don't use grids a lot of people say you can't do um, square foot gardening if you don't use grids. I don't use grids now that I have these because each one of these is a square foot. I just move it from one square foot to the other and I got it. So, so much for the grids. Basically, you just kind of poke your pencil down where your hose are and that tells you where to put your plants. Now this first group here, I'm going to put Black Leaf Simpson. Now I plant a whole bunch of these inside a while ago. And some of them came up, some of them didn't. Some of them have been way too long in here and I don't know if they're going to be able to transplant well or not. I just left them too long. I just didn't, took a while to get the greenhouse up and just didn't quite get these out when they probably should have been. But we're going to try them. Pop them in. This is the Black Leaf Simpson. Um, one per hoe. Or close to it. Since I'm going to use these as leaf lettuce, I can get by with a putting them at 16 per um, square foot. If I was going to use them as headless or not as cut again, I would have to do them um, at nine or four even. Like I said, these have been in there way too long. I'm not sure if they're even going to come out of it, but we're going to give them a try. And if they don't, no big deal. Come in here in a couple of days and plant some seeds.
it is important that I wire these in nicely afterwards. So once again plant, I will come in with some water and water them. And um, use some fish and fertilizer, liquid fertilizer form. That will give them a good start that they missed by being in the seed tray for too long. Yeah, I'm going to have to fill out the rest of these. i got eight of them out here, so I'm going to have to put eight seeds in because some of them just didn't make it. And I'm not surprised, like I said, I left them too long upstairs before I got ready. Now, I love this little thing I'm sitting on. I don't know where I got it or how, but it comes with this nifty little tray. So I can just put whatever I want to plant for the day in it, bring it out, sit here and do my seeds. Very, very convenient. I plant my lettuce seed a little differently than others. I don't just put one seed in, I put a few in. And the reason is they can, in the square foot gardening, they can take it. I hardly cover them at all. They don't like to be covered. Just a very minimum on the covering. Side. According to my little graph, the next one's going to be the red salad bow. Same thing. Get your grid down. Mark your little hose. Uh, first of all, let's check see if I got a red salad that actually came up. Yes, I did. Okay. Mark your hose. And plant your salads out.
Okay, just continue doing that. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be planting um, the red spinach. I'm going to be planting bed lettuce, a mix, rocket, spinach, a row of carrots, a row of beets, radishes, parsnips, some kale, um, broccoli rob, turnips, and Swiss chard in this group. That group down there is going to have my celery and onions and leeks and some bunching onions. So I'm going to finish doing this and I'll come back and we'll water in. When you're planting onion sets, they go about an inch deep and make sure that the onion has something in it. Like this one, it looks like a nice big onion, but it's absolutely nothing inside. Don't worry about planting the little ones because the little ones are actually going to do just as well as the big ones. Sometimes even better because these big ones are closer to um, setting seeds than what the little ones are. Your onion sets were actually started last summer and then taken up in the fall and stored to be put back in to start regrowing in the spring. So you put, as you notice I've got these quite close because like I said I'm going to take every other one out as I harvest them. We use a lot of onions so these will be used up before they ever get to the point where they need the space to spread out. So, those are my onions covered. The leeks are in, the Patterson onions are in, the Walla Walla and the Sweet Williams have not gotten out yet, and I haven't gotten celery out yet because it's not ready for them to come out yet. The same thing, I'm going to have to sow the seeds of the bunching onions, and the, uh, I've got the garlic that I'm going to plant in that little corner. So my first year trying garlic, so it might not work, it might not. We're giving it a chance. Anyway, I'm going to go and finish covering these up, get the garlic in, go in and get the seeds, and put the seeds in, and check out these Walla Walla and Sweet um, Spanish and see if they're ready. They've been out hardening for three days, so I'm just not quite sure they're ready yet. They're not as thick of leaves as the uh, Patterson's. And I'm not for sure about the leeks either. It's my, only my second year trying them. So we'll see. Okay, we've pretty much cleared out this area of the grass and the weeds. And I want a two and a half foot in ground bedding here which I'm going to put in my peppers. So I need to put something to prevent the sand from going over there. So I'm going to use this no-dig edging, which I've used around the house before. And I'm going to put it down at the two and a half foot mark, if I can get the package open. Inches and put in your first 
They give you six pegs to begin with. So you kind of have to measure out where you want it at. And they come in 20 foot rows, which is great for the size of this greenhouse. I don't push them all the way down at first until I get them spaced out the way I want them. And I'll come back in and knock them down the rest of the way. And my trusty little red wagon, which is great for transferring things from the house out here. It's the edge to keep out to keep the sand from going into my in ground. Easy as that. Just come back and tighten it up a little bit and push those down. And this side will be ready for the peppers when it warms up enough at night for the peppers to get in here. So I just have to water everything down one more time. Always water before and after you plant. And I'm done in here for the day. I work over there getting that side dug out was a little bit cooler this evening. But right now, I'm going to take a break. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. And... I will see you next time. Hit the bell icon so you know when I'm on next. And remember, dream big and follow that dream. Bye.